Okay, okay, okay. Uh, today we're playing Bridge Constructor Portal. I know. The worst name ever. I thought it was Portal Bridge Constructor. Because that, uh, name was so bad. I got almost dead phone, so I won't really be checking the messages. Uh, I'll check back in in like 15 minutes. Just to get my moderator going. So I can moderate. So, uh, I'm just, I'm just calling it Portal Bridge Constructor. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Chief custodian attitude we need. Now get to your desk and make us proud. Kill some people, yeah. This looks like shit. Look at this fucking ass bridge. Look at this bitch ass bridge, bro. Hello. And oh. welcome back to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. You can hear. You can hear. I already know that. That's Glados, if you didn't know. If you were a dumbass. I didn't know what port it was. According to internal provisions, all applicants must complete this test series for testing series tests. Before we start, however, please note that serious injuries may occur. The Enrichment Center is proud to announce that your family will be notified in the event of a work fatality with no additional garnishment to your wages. Your first task is to build a bridge so that a test vehicle can reach the test chamber exit. First we need to remove the useless assembly left by your predecessor. And we don't mean their family. Excellent. Your ability to destroy without question is quite impressive. Next, we will supplant a new construction using Aperture Science Convertible Scaffold Planks. Sure. The bridge still requires a roadway for the test vehicle to drive on. Fortunately, each Aperture Science Convertible Scaffold Plank can be converted into a roadway, and vice versa, at any time. Alright. Very good. 
Let a test vehicle run over your bridge to test it. Welcome to Test Chamber 2. To overcome obstacles, you will often need to construct your bridge uphill or downhill. All right. This roadway leads uphill, but is not suitable for vehicles. However, instead of destroying these components, we will modify their location. Very good. Now build the supports underneath. Excellent. The first bridge is ready. Now we will construct a vehicle ramp for hurdling to the exit. Please observe this test chamber layout and note that it is impossible for the vehicle to reach its destination. Oh, that's strange. For this task, the test chamber will be enhanced with an aperture science quantum tunnel, or more commonly called a portal. The portal will open in three, two, one. Any vehicle that enters one side of the portal will instantly exit from the other side at the same speed. Your rapid progress has demonstrated that even the simplest employees can doodle a bridge, while our expert drivers handle the complex physics of navigating through portals. Very good. Testing procedure requires that this test will not allow supporting the bridge from below. However, we can use the construction attachment points above to suspend the bridge with Aperture Science Multipurpose Super Cables. Multipurpose Super Cables consist of tightly rolled shower curtains and can be stretched over long distances. Perfect. Now send the vehicle through the portal. Don't worry. These intradimensional gates have been proven completely safe for custodial staff. Please note, to protect valuable testing apparatus, Vehicle drivers are not permitted to make contact with the deadly fluid on the chamber floor. Your employee photo will be provided in the vehicle driver's cause of death form in the event of your failure.
I'm not, I'm not glad right now. Some, somebody's dead. I've also heard of this. Multiple pairs of portals can exist at the same time. One of them is leading to a deadly laser field. It appears red to discourage casual contact. I am registering an increased heart rate and galvanic skin response, obviously due to the fact that you are not able to tell which portal will lead the vehicles into the lethal deadlock. To compensate for your lack of clairvoyant abilities, we will alter the portal spectral radiance. Cool. From now on, interlinked portals will always have matching colors.
Okay, yeah, so this is gonna turn into me reacting to things. Oh. Uh. Pizza. <laughs> Low prices are popping up at Rural King. Landscape for less with colored mulch. Now two for five dollars. Take four bucks off utility jugs. Now seventeen ninety nine each. Everything for spring back. on sale through April twenty fourth at Rural King or RuralKing.com. The Xbox 360 store is being shut down in July 2024. Just like the 3DS and the Wii U, especially. This makes sense. The console is almost twenty years old at this point, and I don't. My brother, er, I have like a tiny little brother. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. This guy, this guy, I like him. I like him. Uh, sorry for this not being about aperture. Please read the pen comments. But, uh, yeah, I okay. guess. Alright. I want to react to some things while I eat some pizza. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog has really done it all when it comes to covering things on the internet. Sprite animations, freaky fan art, and of course, fan games. Chances are that if you click this video, you already know where I'm going with this, as when it comes to Sonic fan games, you really can't talk about the subject without bringing up the horror games. There are tons of Sonic horror games out there, mostly stemming from the infamous Sonic.exe, which you probably know what it is by now. If you don't know, it was a game made back in 2012, based on the story of an evil Sonic DVD that killed you if you played it, blah blah blah, over a decade later, and this bloody dyed bum still has his presence in the fan game scene. While the story of Sonic.exe did help get the ball rolling for the Sonic horror scene, there are tons of different Sonic horror games out there that deviate from the EXE genre. And that's what I want to talk about here today. A while back, I covered a handful of different Sonic horror games, and I think it's about time I talked about more. I tried to get a decent variety because there are a lot of games that are just straight up Sonic.exe, but even doing that, there's there are a lot of games that are just straight I talked about more. I tried to get a decent variety because there are a lot of games that are just straight up Sonic.exe, but even doing that, there's still like two Sonic EXE remakes on here, so just bear with me. Some of these are good, some of these are bad, and some of these could just straight up kill you. We'll get to that in a minute though. So let's start off with none other than a reimagining of the original Sonic EXE game called Sonic 2011. This game was actually created by the co-owner of Sonic.exe, which I think it's hilarious that there was an unofficial... Also, uh... Also, uh... Yeah, also, uh... Yeah, also, uh... This guy's partner was GamerSubs. Remember that? I don't use GamerSubs. I prefer sleeping on my bed. It's right next to me. No, actually. It's actually the couch. Because I can never leave this place. It's horrible. Rights acquisition of the character? It's just something I never thought I'd say in my entire life. My baby brother was like born in uh, 2011. He always wants to see me, but, uh, you can't. Because I'm stuck in this place, and it takes, like, five days to get all the way back up to the top. Plus, they won't even let me out then, because they're afraid that I'm a, a spread head. Well, we're doing to Black Mesa. Well, let's get back on with the video. So, I know I said I wanted to avoid EXE games a bit, but this one just caught my attention way too much. Sonic 2011 is a remake of the original Sonic.exe game. The project was directed by Joe Doughboy, who not only has done other Sonic horror games I've talked about, like Ooh. Sonic PC. Watch out, blood incoming and a uh, decapitation. Port, but he is the official. Oh, never mind. Oh, co-owner, right? 
co-owner of Sonic.exe. So long story short, the original creator of Sonic.exe was a piece of sh**. So the I can't remember their exact name, but it was definitely the hyena over there. Maybe even that's wrong. The ownership of the character was rightfully stripped away and given to three people, Astronomicon, Revy, and Joe Doughboy. They all do different things with the character, and I think that's pretty cool. People should continue to take this lame-ass story and character and transform it into something great. Anyway, Sonic 2011 was Joe's take on the character, in the form of a remake of the original game. Just wanted to quickly clarify that yes, while this is technically a remake of Sonic.exe, it is also the new official Sonic e Oh, it's just a test show subject to Skinner. Absolutely obliterated by turrets. They should have been more careful around those things. What is that? Test chamber, uh... It's like test chamber 15. EXE game, so I do apologize if I refer to it as just a remake during this portion. I was not aware at the time. Anyways, back to the video. There's a complete sprite overhaul, oh. segments have been changed or improved, it's basically just a better version of Sonic.exe, and despite it being a remake, I thought it was really neat, so I'm gonna talk about it. Sue me. The game starts off just like the original. Five more minutes on my lunch break. Ah. Sonic EXE. It's all fun and games and bam, pink eye strikes. The first segment is with our main man Tails. You're thrown into the iconic hill zone with nothing but a big flat surface to run on. As you continue forward, there must be a gas leak or something because there's quite a few dead animals on the ground. Yeah. I saw the original story, guys. God damn, that's gotta be some powerful gas. These animals went through it. Eventually, after walking for a while, oh, while you come across Sonic, oh, oh, thank God, something good is finally happening. It's such a relief for Tails that he actually runs to the left automatically, and you have to hold right and force him to walk towards Sonic. That's your friend, silly. Go say hi. Alright, that's my bad. Besides walking to the right and meeting up with Sonic, you can go to the left at the beginning for a secret area, and the game's not really a big fan of that. The secret area doesn't even really lead anywhere different, but it doesn't even matter because I died regardless, and then the game said no cheating? Because I died? Why would I cheat to die, asshole? Anyways, you're now stuck in a burning area called hide and seek. There's really nowhere to hide though, so it's really more like tag. Get your facts right, Sonic. Anyways, yeah. after a certain amount of time passes, your game stops and says time. Time's up. A really subtle but cool change from the original game. In the original, you would just walk to the right until Sonic dances on your screen. It was nothing crazy. Sonic says, ready or not, here I come. And Just like Sonic dancing on your screen with some static, but on your uh, screen, it was nothing crazy. Sonic says, uh, Ready or not, here I come. But now it's this that's infinitely more scary. Um, and flies towards Tails. <gasps> Run as fast as you can, not really much to do here as Sonic catches up, trips Tails, and snaps his neck. I've said it before, and I'll say it again you cannot be Tails. Well, I'm done with my pizza. I'm gonna get back to that construction of bridges. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. I know I'm still streaming. It's still on in the background, but. That's still live. Okay. Live and stream. Okay. 
Alright. There! No. Oh my god! Seven yards, seven! Uh, I don't think it'll go off sale. Okay, I can't show you my credit card information. I can't do that because, like, uh, that's dumb. But. Sorry about that. <laughs> this test chamber only has construction attachment points at the start and end of the roadway. In such cases, the bridges must be self-supporting with arch scaffolds placed in a triangular formation. We provided two bridges as structural reference. It should be a simple matter of copying this design to bridge the remaining gap.
crisscross applesauce. Please note the closed door before the exit. At least one vehicle must press the blue Aperture Science One Touch Super button to open the door to the exit. Vehicle pads may cross when there are several portal pairs. But please don't panic as this may distract the drivers. To compensate for a broad range of applicant ability, the Enrichment Center is required to provide all applicants, especially you, with useful advice. The advice for this test chamber is as follows. Build a steer missile so that air should heal for exit. Very simple. I love that. Ah! Ah, 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 ah.
this is this is this is the solution. This is the solution. Yes, yes. Remember that vehicles will maintain their speed when driving through a portal. As you can see, it will need a lot of speed to hurdle the middle wall. The Enrichment Center would like to remind you that the entire vehicle must reach the exit to earn a positive mark on your testing record. 
For other critical testing anecdotes, please refer to the Library of Best Practices, which is now available to you effective immediately. Please note that this test chamber's exit is very near the top. The vehicle drivers will need speed and crossing paths. We believe in you, applicant 9723. If you are not applicant 9723, please submit a sporadic encouragement request form 274 days prior to testing.
This chamber will include untested testing apparatus. Previous tests have shown that applicants who are more anxious about the increased complexity will take comfort in the following sounds. We can see from your biofeedback monitor that your mood has nearly improved to acceptable limits. Good. The red, heavy-duty, super-colliding super button must be permanently pressed to hold the door open. There is also a vital apparatus vent. When activated, it drops a weighted companion cube. If you've been paying attention, the solution should be obvious. As the case may be, good luck.
Congratulations! You've made it farther than anyone expected. Unfortunately, testing conditions will not be getting any less dangerous. This test includes sentry turrets. Vehicles seen by the turrets targeting laser are marked for disqualification, followed by rapid disassembly. The blue lines in this chamber are Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grills. They will vaporize all Aperture Science testing apparatus, except for the test vehicles.
16 levels. Goodbye. Watch the stream on your on your YouTube channel. Yeah, yes.